Three hours later. Hey, you getting sick of this music yet? Oh, so sick. I see you got 27 attack. You'll get the last three levels from killing Count Chocula. Hey, defense level 30! Finally, you have no idea how long that took. I mean, three hours, that's not an exaggeration. That took for freaking ever. I mean, and I've been pretty much killing nothing but goblins here. But hey, look at that. So, I got my uh, wool and now, I can wear my green armor! I am no longer PFN the Grey. Now, I am PFN the Green. And I come to you now, at the turn of the tide. Kinda weird though that I'm still, you know, holding a blue sword because... Well, I can almost get, like, a... The, my, my green scimitar, but whatever! I'm PFN the Green, and I look freaking awesome in this armor! A lot better than that rusty piece of crap that was my iron armor, so... Let's go ahead and let's talk to this farmer guy and let's get this quest over with that I started like 10 episodes ago. Has it been 10? Eh, it feels like it's been about 10. Where is he? He's outside, right under the roof by the door. Oh, yeah, See him? Oh. Upper right corner? Oh, yep, yeah, up oh, there he is! I was gonna say, it's like, wow, his house is barren. Hey, dude! Here, can, can I click under the roof, please? No? Fred the farm, you sneaky bat. How you doing getting them balls of wool? I have some. Uh, give them here, then. That's the last of them. I guess I better pay you, then. Oh, great. I got 60 coins for that. And crafting XP I'm never going to use, but hey, at least I got another quest point. Sounds like Futurama in here. What are you doing on my land? Uh, you know what? I haven't said this yet. Looking for something to kill. Well, on my land? Leave my livestock alone, you scoundrel! Don't worry, dude. I'm not a sheep Nazi. I'm just a goblin Nazi. I will kill all the goblins. I mean, seriously, dude. I killed, like, probably legitimately 2,000. OW! I hate fast-forwarding in time! Could you please stop doing that? How are you doing with the quest? I'm still working on it. Please hurry! Every day we live in fear that we'll be the ma vampire's next victim! Like I was gonna say before I was so rudely interrupted, I am a goblin Nazi. I've killed like probably legitimately 2,000 or more goblins at this point. Anyway, I'm gonna rifle through his cupboard here. Uh, yoink! Clove of garlic. With this I can make the uh, spaghetti sauce. Uh, clove of garlic. Wow, thanks. Real helpful descriptor there. But seriously, that, that one doctor guy who was all drunk and stuff, uh, he said that this would be useful for killing vampires, so, uh... <sighs> Man, I should not run in armor. What am I thinking? <sighs> oh, God! My chest! <sighs> Man, you really need to exercise <sighs> more. <sighs> <sighs> Alright, anyway. Yeah, so I got my hammer, and my garlic, and the steak, and I get a crucifix, if that weren't such a controversial item in this world. But whatever, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll slay the vampire without God's blessing. Right, Saradamin? I mean, all you care about is the quest points, don't you? Ow! Haha, <laughs> just kidding. My armor protects me. Oh no, the door's shut behind me and I can't get it open. Whatever shall I do? Okay, so I'm just gonna come around here. There's that skeleton in the closet. <laughs> I remember when I used to be scared of that guy. Yeah, he was a legitimate threat to me at one point. Funny how time just changes stuff. Alright. Coming for you, Count Chocula. There's a rat. Yeah. And the chairs are still following me around. Man, those are some bored chairs. Alright. Hey, buddy! I'm back! Count Draenor, level 34. Hey, I think we're both the same exact level. Hiya! Vampire seems to weaken. Wow, dude, look, I'm doing five damage to him. Five damage again! I'm doing so. And he can, he's barely doing anything to me. Yeah, take that! It's what you get! I'm using the slash, good. Yeah, whenever you're using a scimitar, make sure you're slashing, because, you know, stabbing with a scimitar, that just. Eh, it doesn't really work. Hiya! And. Boom! Hammered the stake into his chest. Alright, three Four quest, quest points, points to go. I suppose you'd go better rescue Prince Ali. You've certainly made him wait. Alright, attack level 30! Yeah, thanks for interrupting me, Sardamen. Okay, I can wield adamant weaponry. 
So, uh, now I've got my adamant sword in hand, and, uh, I can stabity stab people. Alright, let's, uh, go rescue Prince Ali, I guess. Yeah, chairs, quit following me. I'm not going anywhere you can follow. Sorry. This is some spooky music. Okay. What's, What's with, with the, the rat, rat tail and stuff? Oh, right, which is potion. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, I'm not going to do it straight away. I, I still need to do this other quest with Prince Ali first, because, you know, after I, I, after I finish this quest, I'll still have one quest point to go, and, you know, might as well just wrap it up in a nice little bow here. Plus, I've got some magic experience, so, you know, it'll be nice to add on to that a bit. Okay, let's sneak by these guards here. They, they shoot to kill, right? Ow! Wait, that's not a bow. Are you the famous Lady Kelly, leader of the toughest gang of mercenary killers around? I am Kelly. You have heard of me then? Oh, uh, let's see. I better not put on the butter too much here, so... Eh, I've heard rumors you kill people, that's true. There's always someone ready to spread rumors. I hear all sorts of ridiculous things these days. Uh... Eh, might as well ask. What's your latest plan, then? Of course you need not go into specific detail. Well, I can tell you I have a valuable prisoner here in my cells. I expect a high reward to be paid very soon for this guy. I can't tell you who he is, but he is a lot colder now. Okay, well, it is hot in Saudi Arabia, I'll give you that much. Okay, uh, let's see, what should I ask her now? Uh, you must be very skillful. Yes, I did most of the work. We had to grab the pr- uh, we had to grab him without his ten bodyguards noticing. It was a stroke of genius. Um, let's see, what should I tell her now? Can you be sure they'll not try- yeah. Can you be sure they'll not try to get him out? There is no way to release him. The only key to the door is on a chain around my neck, and the locksmith who made the lock died suddenly. There's not another key like this in the world. Hmm, huh, I wonder how that happened. She doesn't dress that intimidating. Can I see the key, please? Just for a moment? It would be something I could tell my grandchildren when you're even more famous than you are now. That's right. Flattery will get you everywhere. As you put it the way you... Yeah, whatever. Put it that way. I'm sure you can see it. You can't steal it. It's on a runite chain. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Can I touch the key for a moment, please? Only for a moment, then. I put the piece of soft clay in my hand, I touch the key, and I take an imprint of it. How did she not see me do that? Thank you so much. You are too kind, oh great Kelly. You're welcome. Now run along. I am very busy. Uh, okay. Well, I'll talk to the prince first. Can I talk to him? Let's see. There he is in the corner there. Yeah, young prince. Oh, oh, nope. Can't do it. And I guess you're clearing Witch's Potion now. Yep. So, have you found the things for the potion? Yes, I have everything. Excellent! Can I have them then? Okay, so here's your rat tail and your burnt meat and your eye of newt and an onion. Mostly gross stuff. Okay, the cauldron bubbles mysteriously. Well, is it ready? Okay, now drink from the po- The cauldron, not the potion. Well, it is a potion. Well, are you going to drink the potion or not? Seriously, I have to drink it? I thought you were just going to pour it on my head. A drink from the cauldron, it tastes horrible. I feel myself imbued with power. Yeah, I did it. You just drank something with an eyeball in it. Good job. Yeah. Hey, magic level 10. Awesome. What can I do with this? I can cast Earth Strike now. Sweet. Okay. Now what? Now, now go get a copy of that key made. You know how to get back to Saudi Arabia, right? Yeah, I'm on it. Just, uh, draw a little circle on the ground and, uh, pull my book out of my butt here. There we go. Ah, uh, it feels better. And, uh, wom 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 And back in, uh, freaking Lumbridge again. Well, uh, so Saudi Arabia is just a little bit to the east. The Middle East, one might say. <sighs> well, I guess now that I've got, like, you know... Thousands of coins I can afford to pay these guard gate guards. Okay, so I got the imprint of the key, and I've got the uh, the bronze bar. Let's go ahead and talk to that uh, guy who's totally not from Assassin's Creed. Hi, Osman. Well done. We can make the key now. Pick the key up from Lila. Uh, okay. Let's see. 
Can you just tell me what I still need to get? You can collect the key from Leela. Oh, alright. You need to make a blonde wig somehow. Leela may help. You have the skirt. Good. Something to make the prince's skin appear lighter. A rope with which to tie Kelly in. Once you have everything, go to Leela. She must be ready to get the prince. I made this quest require a lot of back and forth. Isn't it great? Oh, it's wonderful. You're a hoot. What can I help you with? Uh, could you think of a way to make skin paste? Yes, I can. I see you already have the ingredients. Would you like me to mix some for you now? Uh, yeah. Mix me some skin paste. That would be simple. Hand the things to Aggie, then. Okay, she utters some words. And, uh... Alright, more cauldron stuff. Tourniquet, Fedra Bomb, Tornaham, Marshmallow, Marble Arc. Marshmallow? Okay. There you go, dearie, your skin potion. That will make you look good at the Barok dance. Oh, yeah, this is for me. What can I help you with? Yeah, I think we're going to need one more yellow dye after all. What sort of dye would you like? Yeah, so I'm going to put those last two onions to use. Man, I needed five onions total. How about that? Two onions and five coins. Yeah, because I need to make the wig, you know, blonde and stuff, since Kelly's got blonde hair. Boy, she does not look intimidating at all. I can't believe that she's, like, secretly this mass murderer. Well, whatever. I mean, I, I got the hair dye. Now I just need to make some fake hair, I guess. Okay, um... Let's see, I'll go in here. I think this guy is the one who makes the, the rope and the... Whatever. Why, well, hello there, lad. My friends call me Ned. I was a man of the sea, but it's past me now. I could be making or selling you some rope. Um, I guess I do need some rope, but uh, what else? Yes, I'd like some rope. Well, I could sell you some rope for 15 coins, or I can be making you some for if you get me four balls of wool. I strand them together, I does I make them strong. You make ropes from wool? Of course you can! I thought you needed hemp or you. Do you want some rope or not? Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, sell me some rope. I'm not gonna give you wool. There you go, find us the rope and runescape. 